Hey guys, it is Briar Trot here and welcome back to the channel or welcome to the channel. So today we are doing one of my favorite things to film. Um, I filmed this last year and I will just be telling you guys what my opinions and thoughts are of the Briarfest models including special runs, some of the raffle models, and everything that they basically come out with. This is a part one. They have not released all the models yet, but I didn't want to wait any longer. And if I did wait until all the models came out and did it all at once, it would be an extremely long video. Before we get started, I uh, did get my Barfest tickets in the mail. So I was just going to tell you guys my special run times. So I have Saturday 11 to 12, um, Saturday 2 to 3. Sunday 12 to 1 and Sunday 9 to 10. I don't have any ticket times on Friday because I'm actually showing in the open show which I'm a little nervous for um, but I am very excited to have that whole experience. If you guys do want me to make a video after the open show uh, like saying my experience as a first timer I will definitely do that. So yeah, let's get into it. If you guys haven't already, subscribe. Also turn on my notification bell since YouTube's being a little weird lately. But yeah, let's get started. But first, of course, I should probably stand over here so I can show you guys the model. But um, first, of course, we have Brass Hat, who is the celebration model for this year. I will be getting four of him. Um, I plan on keeping one out of box uh, to show, one in box, because I just have been doing that the past few years. And then uh, my little cousin is going with me, so she um, will be taking him. And then I don't know what we're doing with the fourth one. Uh, if my grandparents want to keep him, by the way, my grandparents are taking me this year. That is literally the only reason I'm able to go, and I'm so grateful that they are taking me since I really don't think that I'll be able to go for a while after this. If you guys don't know, I'm going to be a senior next year, so uh, after that is college, and I doubt I will have the money to go anymore. Uh, but yeah, that's just random side information. But yeah, here he is. Uh, he's super pretty. I, I really like him. I do enjoy the mold. Uh, I know some people aren't really a big fan of the mold just because of the confirmation of it, but by the pictures he has super nice shading and uh, I can't tell if he's glossy or not. He kind of just looks like not really semi-glossy, but like does have a little bit of shine to him. Next is Riddle and he is the early bird raffle model and he is a glossy gray and he's actually very pretty. I love gray thoroughbreds. I actually own a gray thoroughbred. Um, not as dark as him, but still. Uh, he's very pretty. I think that Briar did, it was like smart of them to use a more vintage mold as the early bird raffle and not as like a special run or anything just because a lot of collectors, especially newer collectors, don't really love vintage molds. I personally do, but a lot of the newer collectors don't. Not saying that all of them don't, but I would say a pretty good majority. Then the Sunday raffle. Oh my god, he is beautiful. Um, he is beautifully dappled. Oh, I'm obsessed. I really do love this mold and I love the long mane, long tail version of it. Um, I have Bahana. No, yes, Bahana. And um, she has the short man, like the short tail, but I love the long tail on it. I think it's absolutely beautiful. But yeah, uh, his name is Woodford. Did I say that? I don't I don't know. Next we are on to the special runs that they released so far. I think they only released five. Yeah, they released yeah, five or four. One, two, three, four, five. Okay, they released five. Um, so there's still two more to be released, and then the eighth one is the surprise model. So I'm cannot wait for that. If you guys um do have any guesses to what the surprise models will be, make sure to leave them in the comments below. I want to hear your guesses. I really don't have one right now. I'm kinda of feeling um gazelle. But that's kind of my only guess right now, so I guess we will see. But first up is Dead Heat, and she is on the Ruffian mold, and I love this mold. Uh, it does take up quite a lot of space, uh, but I do have American Pharaoh, who I really love and will be seeing in my collection probably forever. So I plan on getting this girl so he will have a friend. If, if he's a girl, I think that it's a girl. If he is a girl. If she is a girl. I can't tell by the picture, but I, I think she's a mare. I don't know. We'll see. Um, but very nice apples of pattern. I hope that the markings will be crisp on the one that I get. Hopefully, fingers crossed. Uh, but yeah, very pretty. I love the coloring. And yeah, I'm a big fan. So next is Straight Bet, and he is on the newer mold. And 
I really like him. I think that Briar will do a good job with him. I love the gloss. I have a feeling that it will be 50 gloss, 50 matte, or 50, like half and half, half matte, half glossy. And um, I don't know, I'm really hoping that it's all glossy just so I know that I will definitely get a glossy of him because I really like him in glossy even though I think that he would look nice in matte. I just love glossy models, as you guys probably know. Yeah, super pretty, and I will definitely be getting him. So next is the Marin Full, and it is Julep and Julep and Pim. And at first, I don't know why. When I first saw it, I was kind of just like, I don't know if I like them. Like they're pretty. Don't get me wrong. Like they really are. But I don't know why. Like at first, I just wasn't like obsessed with them like everybody else, and it was really weird. But now, like, looking at them, I'm just like, okay, they are very pretty. Uh, so I will be getting them. This is the first year that I'm actually going where they have a Marin full set, and I love Marin full sets, so I'm super happy that I will finally be going a year where they actually have one, because they only do it every other year, um, it seems. So yeah, I will definitely be trying to get them. I think the mom is actually super pretty with the shading that it shows in the picture, and I think it's an interesting pattern um, with the Grulo and everything. I just think maybe the Grulo kind of like threw me off a little bit because I was like, eh, I don't know how I feel about that. And the full is a little strange. I don't like not like the full. The mold itself is beautiful. Like I love the originals that they have. That I'll show you guys a picture of. That was the premiere um, club. Who I actually kind of want to try to get this year. If I can find it for a really good price, I definitely think that I'm gonna buy them because they are beautiful. You no, know, I just. I don't know. So there was something about it where I was kind of just like, eh, these are kind of weird, but they're still pretty and uh, I will definitely try to be getting them. Next is Anari. I think I'm saying that right. And he is the animal for this year. Uh, so he's a elk, I think. Yes, an elk. <laughs> um, but he's very cool. I actually think that he's really pretty. I really like him. I'm not sure if I'm going to be getting him though just because I don't really love getting models that I don't show and I really have like no clue where I put him. I do have my elephant right here who um, I, uh, I wasn't planning on getting, but my mom really wanted him, which is why we ended up getting him or her. I don't, I don't know. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like the only exception of an animal that I have in my collection that's not a donkey or a horse. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I guess I'll see. Uh, I, I don't know. I, he's not going to be a priority though, so I guess, I don't know. So next, this girl was just released like two days ago, and it is Sierra Rose, and I love this horse. She is on a older mold, the Pam mold, and um, I really love her. She is a rose gray, which the name fits perfectly for her, and yeah, she's very nice, and I will definitely be getting her because I do need another Ara I only have one Arabian in my show string. I, the rest are part Arabians um, that have any Arabian in them. So I definitely want to try to be getting her. Next are on to the store specials. Um, so first is Old Ironsides and he is a flea in gray and I'm pretty sure that like the horse's barn name is Sugar. They actually used the uh, strapless mold pretty recently as a store special so I was a little surprised that they used it again. They used it in 2015 which I guess it's actually quite a long time ago now that I think about it but that was like my first year going to Barra Fest so I guess I remember it pretty clearly but I do actually really want to try to get this horse. Uh, also, the next um, story special, Bob Crane, I might be saying that wrong, but he's also super pretty. He's on the True North mold, which I'm obsessed with, so I really want to try to get him, and I really just want to try to get both of them. Like, I'm actually obsessed with both of them, so let's hope that I will be able to get him. Next, this horse was not a big, like, not a lot of people were happy about him, and it is Scamper, who is a re-release, but, um... It's barrel racing, so if you guys don't know, the theme this year is off to the races, so any type of racing, basically. And basically, the only thing that they really changed, I think, is the barrels. They, like, say that, which is really cool. I think that the younger collectors will really enjoy that, which I think is why they ended up doing that. So, I definitely won't be getting him, but he's really cool, and I definitely think that the younger collectors that do still play are going to enjoy that. Alright, so the last model, I think... Yeah, the last model. This is going pretty quick. Um, this is Foiled again, who was already released as a regular run. Yeah, I think a regular run. But um, he is a special edition, first available at Briarfest, glossy version of him, who, oh my gosh, I need this horse. I really love Standardbreds. Um, my grandpa actually owns one, 
and yeah I just love them I love this mold I think it's really cool and I love glossies and I love glossy bays he looks so nice in gloss um so I don't think I'm gonna get the matte version anymore which I was planning to get and just get the uh, glossy version so hopefully I will be able to get this guy I'm just obsessed with him I like the green halter and everything I think it's really cute so yeah big fan of that guy <laughs> Okay, so that seems to be it for today. I hope that you guys enjoyed. I can move into the middle now. Um, but yeah, we're going to be seeing a few more special runs and then a lot of live auction models and silent auction models. I think they also still need to release the tent specials, also like the Sunday raffle model, diorama contest, volunteer model. Um, which they don't release until after, so I can't even say anything about that. Then just the prize models for the shows. Um, but yeah, can't wait to show you guys them and tell you guys my opinion. I hope that you guys do enjoy these videos. I enjoy making them. So yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if you do enjoy. Make sure to tell me your opinions on these models down in the comments below. I want to know what you guys think of all these guys. Also subscribe if you already haven't, and feel free to follow me on Instagram at xxbriotrot. And yeah, that is all I have for you guys today. I hope you have a wonderful day. And most importantly, stay fabulous. Bye!